Due to the poor level of compliance to COVID-19 guidelines and the fear of a second wave, there have been calls from some quarters by the federal government to reimpose lockdown in some states. Recently, the Lagos state government had also indicated it will not hesitate to reimpose a total lockdown in the state if residents continue to violate guidelines and the easing of the COVID-19 lockdown. On May 4, the Lagos state commenced a gradual easing of the lockdown imposed as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. We're now joined by Dr. Shete Olu. He joins us via telephone. Thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. What is your assessment of the compliance to COVID-19 guidelines since the lockdown has been relaxed? Yeah, I, I'll be specific on Lagos that I know about. The, the, the compliance level has been poor and has been unimpressive. Uh, it's apparent that um, uh, most of the Lagosians uh, return to business as usual. Uh, as soon as the lockdown ended, um, the, the, the scarcity of funds in the bank, which encouraged queuing and um, you know, uh, and mass gatherings, uh, uh, did not help matters. Um, the, it's apparent that uh, that the enforcement level is also poor. Uh, I, I would rather hold the Lagos State government to consult. Uh, more concretely with the transport unions and the banking institutions and, and other institutions to be better organized and um, in terms of crowd control and, and social distancing, which are required to avoid, uh, you know, a mass trans transmission of the virus. Do you see a proper supervision or enforcement of these guidelines as expected? Because there were promises that such would be done. I, I made the point earlier that the supervision is weak. The enforcement level is rather poor. It could be better. The Lagos State government and, and the private organization, particularly the banks, could do better. And I would urge uh, for better enforcement. I'll also urge for great discipline by individuals. You know, a lot lies with the individual to keep the rules. It should be in our interest, it be in the individual and group interest to keep to the rules or the protocols as defined by the WHO to save lives and to prevent the spread of the pandemic, of the virus. Do you support calls for the reimposition of a lockdown at this time, especially in light of uh, some of the challenges that have been highlighted um, during the period? Well, uh, that, that would be rather difficult because there are social and economic issues involved. You, 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 you know, there's been, there's been this debate about creating a balance between the economic of the lockdown and the health imperative. You, you'll appreciate that most of the people live in the, on the informal sector, you know, and they need to leave the house virtually daily to sustain a livelihood. I'm afraid that uh, returning to local to total lockdown might not be sustainable. In fact, if I be emphatic, it should not be sustainable. Uh, I'd rather prefer that uh, the the government will use more situations and more persuasions, and uh, we would reach uh, you know uh, groups such as the you know road transport and the banking institutions, etc. To, to do better supervise and better regulate, uh, you know, uh, the transport sector and the banking where uh, massive violations are, are being evident. What, what specific advice would you give to government today, um, considering everything that we've seen in the management of uh, the COVID-19, if you were to have that opportunity, what uh, in specific terms would you tell them? Well, um, uh, one, in the first instance, I commend the Lagos State government has been proactive, been organized, has been quite um, responsive and responsible to uh, the changing dynamics and moods of, of the populace. But beyond it, I, I would advise that the advisory team of the Lagos COVID committee should be more inclusive. It should include, it should include uh, academics, and the private sector and so on and so forth for better advice and for better results. Secondly, 
uh, I'm aware that most of uh, most of the um, most of the hospitals, major hospitals, have actually been converted into isolation centers. I, I do not think it's the best. But I'm aware that some other patients with other diseases are not, uh, are not do not have access to doctors for treatment. Right. Um, I, I, I have rather <laughs> prefer that some of these other hospitals are still left for, to treat other diseases and other ailments. All right. I know yeah. there is a lot more where that is coming from, but that's all time will permit us um, at this time. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.